morning. It's Monday, September 30th, 2024. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Is the Church on Fire? And our scripture is Acts chapter 1. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It's not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. I heard years ago about a small town church that had an electrical short in the ancient wiring. It caused a fire and within minutes all the town's residents raced to the church to help put out the blaze. Even the town drunk pitched in. One of the deacons went up to him and asked, Shorty, what are you doing here? I ain't never seen you in church before. Shorty replied, Mister, I ain't never seen no church on fire before. Well, Shorty's observation of a church literally burning calls the theological question of the burning fire of God's Holy Spirit. Ultimately, because of God's sovereignty and unlimited power, knowledge, and will, God is behind all that happens in the world, either by his purposeful choice or his permissive allowance. There's little question that everything happening under the sun is under the hand and eternal purpose of he who is above the sun. So, how do we know when it's the Spirit of God operating in the context of a church's efforts in a local setting? Is the Spirit setting the church on fire? The short answer is, we can't know whether it's God's choice or will or something he simply permits. We can know that the God who proclaimed he'd never leave or forsake us is using it and is with us. For you today, when a church building catches fire, if left unchecked, the structure will disappear. When the body of Jesus Christ, the church, is caught by the fire of God's Holy Spirit, it will grow and glow, making known the love and power of God to everyone around. Let's allow the wisdom of King Solomon telling the church, the body of Christ, made up of all who call on the Lord in faith, just what our part is in being ready for the Spirit of God to set fire to our church. 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.